good morning friends so let us start today with a new practical portion on estimation of shear indices so you have already studied about the shear indices in theory classes so let us see today about the practical aspects that means um, the numerical portions however before proceeding to the numerical question i will just brief you about the theoretical portion of shear indices just i will narrate what are the shear indices so if you think of shear index the shear indexing means ranking or evaluating the shear you have to rank or evaluate the shear for its transmitting ability so this transmitting ability is very important so i have already discussed this uh, transmitting ability when i was discussing with you about the breeding value so if you are not recollecting what is transmitting ability you just go through that video and you just refresh what is breeding value what is transmitting ability so uh, as of now here i am telling you that uh, shear indexing means you have to rank the shear based on its transmitting ability on the basis of performance of its progeny so how you will find the transmitting ability you will find the transmitting ability on the basis of performance of a progeny of the shear that is you want to know the genetic worth of animal by which results of progeny testing is expressed so as a result of progeny testing you are performing you have already studied progeny testing in the theory class as a result of progeny testing you got the records of uh, sire in terms of progeny performance now based on progeny performance you just calculate the transmitting ability or breeding value and based on that breeding value or transmitting ability you just rank the sire for their comparison or evaluation so the sire index is valuable tool for estimating breeding birth of sire and many a times this index is subjected to some error and hence the difference between estimated and actual breeding value may be large so when we are estimating sire index this index indices are some or in other way they are biased so the expected and estimated breeding value may differ so we have to think of those sire indices which show minimum biasness or uh, which are having minimum error so now why this uh, uh, why there is chance of error in sire indices one of the main reason is the phenotype of female phenotype of female to whom sire has been mated so you know a sire a sire is said to be half of the herd or more than half of the herd why because one sire can mate many of the female animals so why error is coming one of the main reason is that phenotype of female to whom sire had mated might be different to a greater extent from breeding value and hence such sire indices cannot be said guaranteed and correct but can very well be useful from the practical point of view and can be taken as probable breeding value of the sire the thing is that first of uh, at one instance the sire has been mated with a high quality dam at another instance the same sire has been mated with poor quality dam at another instance the same sire was mated with the average dam so in all these three cases the progeny performance will be differing however the sire is same so it depends on the performance potential of dam also so because of the variation in the performance of dam there may be chances of error in sire index because we are considering mainly the performance of sire not we are ignoring the performance of dam but there are many indices who which are utilizing the production of dam also to minimize this error so anyhow this 
estimated breeding value will give an idea or it is a better idea give better idea of the probable breeding value so now coming to the different sire indices what are the different sire indices that are generally being used so the indices are broadly divided into two portion the first one is the in indices used for evaluation of bulls in single herd and another one is the indices used for evaluation of bull in multiple herd so the same uh, in case of single herd there are seven indices there are lot many indices it has been said that total i think 27 or 28 kind of sire evaluation methodologies are available and its number is increasing day by day so first one is simple daughter average index then the equiparent or intermediate index third one is the krishnan's index which is known as corrected daughter average index then contemporary daughter average index corrected contemporary daughter average index rice regression index and dairy search index and those which are being used in multiple herd include stable mate daughter average index corrected stable mate daughter average index list squares techniques restriction maximum maximum likelihood method reml and best linears unbiased prediction that is bla so these are the different sire indices now from the ug class perspective i will be discussing few of these sire indices and i will be mainly focusing on the indices used for evaluation of bulls in single herd now the first one is the simples daughter's average index as the name suggest index i is equal to d bar that means you have to suppose a bull has been mated with five dam and it has produced five progeny five female progeny so what you have to do you have to record the performance of all the five female pro, uh, progenies and make the average of those performance and that average will give the index value that is the it will give indication of breeding value but what is the problem here it does not take account of the varying production level of different dams mated to a bull so this point i have already discussed in the introduction portion that the problem is that here in this case we have not taken into account about the vari variable production level of dams hence it may be subjected to some bias so this index will be subjected to some bias now to overcome this the next index come that is equiparent index equiparent index it assume that daughter receive equal amount of hereditary material from both the parents so this index consider the importance of mother also dam also the only limitation is the sampling nature of inheritance it consider that the sampling nature of inheritance is the only problem so this is also a problem many a times because we know a sire or a dam can transmit only 50% of its gene to its progeny but which 50% that is not under the control of sire or dam so it the 50% is getting transmitted to next generation based on the sampling and that sampling has no control of anyone and it is not under control of anyone so that is why the inheritance is sampling in uh, nature sampling nature inheritance is having sampling nature so which permit gamete coming from the same parent to contain different genes so same parent may contribute different genes at different occasion so the average offspring are genetically better than the average breeding value of the parent while some are worst so this is the problem when you consider mother performance also then this sampling nature of inheritance is coming and due to the sampling nature many a times you will get better progeny and in other instance you will get poor progeny not that much better progeny so what is the formula for equiparent index you will see how this equiparent index has been developed so you consider first progeny performance you have taken one sire and it, it was mated with uh, different dams so what will be the first progeny performance so it will be sire plus first dam divided by 2 because we know the 50% of the genes we is getting transmitted to the next generation plus mendelian error of inheritance mendelian error in 
inheritance they will get bundle in hand then error of appraisal in appra appraisal in measuring in uh, assessing you will commit some mistakes so these two mistakes will also be there if you consider the second progeny performance again sire plus second m divided by 2 plus minus mendelian er mendelian error and error of appraisal likewise for nth progeny you will get sire the same sire plus nth dam nth dam divided by 2 plus mendelian plus error of appraisal now what will be the overall the average performance of progeny so average performance of the sire in terms of all the progenies so here you can see the sire by 2 divide uh, plus dam by 2 plus mendelian error which will be zero because many a times it will be in plus direction and at the same time uh, on other occasion it will be on negative side so this plus and positive and negative will come to the zero and this error of appraisal is also random in nature so if you find its average this will also come zero and or it may be deleted eliminated so overall what will be the formula so what is the uh, formula will be daughters how you will find the daughters average daughters average is equal to sire divided by 2 that is half the of the sire plus mother's average divided by 2 that is half of the mother you know the sire is the same but mothers were different so you have taken the average of the mothers now just you uh solve this equation you will get 2d is equal to sire plus m bar m bar is the mother's average now if you are solving this again this sire index sire index is equal to 2d bar minus m bar 2d bar minus m bar so this is the equiparent index why 2d bar here you can think that daughter's average whatever daughter is getting it is getting gene from both mother and father consider that both mother and father are equal so what will be the performance uh, daughter uh, if you double the daughter performance that means the both sire and dam performance is included but since mothers are different mothers are dams are different at a, every time so what you will do sire index is equal to double the daughter performance that is double the progeny performance minus mother's performance if you are Uh, subtracting the average of mother performance then you will get the sire's predicted value that is sire index so i hope this part was clear now now another method so uh, the pre previous one this one was the sire index uh, that is equiparent index equiparent index a uh, you go and uh, search in theory you will get many the scientists involved in discovery of this uh, or uh, calculation of this equiparent index and the limitations and all you will get in the theory portion in any standard textbook now coming to the next is the krishnan index krishnan's index it was given by krishnan at the name suggest it is also known as corrected daughter average index corrected daughter index method and it was proposed by krishnan in 1956 this is quite reliable why it is it was reliable as it has an average it has an average that contain almost half the error than in the other method it contains the average that contains almost half the error than in a other method so it will cause half the error why it also require less number of dam daughter comparison why it require less number of dam daughter comparison if you see the formula the i that is sire index is equal to d bar daughter's average so you know daughter's average there in case of equiparent index you just simply doubled the daughter's performance to get the idea of both sires and dams here what he has done he has taken the average of daughter and then it has subtracted the mother's performance but the mother's performance was again subtracted by the average of hord's performance that means the mother superiority was taken ever a, above and sorry the mother superiority was taken from the hord average because this a bar a bar is the hord average so m bar minus a indicate that mother superiority is taken over and above the hord average 
so over and above the herd average will say how much mother is superior above the herd now this superiority is regressed upon the daughter's performance so this superiority is regressed upon the daughter that means that not all the superiority is being extracted uh, subtracted from daughter's average but the only regressed portion that is why the b b is the regression coefficient so only regressed portion was subtracted from the daughter's performance so this was more realistic this was more uh, close to the real breeding value so now the next portion the next one is the rice regression method so the in this rice regression method here you can see i is the sire index a is the herd average a is the herd average d bar is the daughter's average and another thing is e bar so what is e bar e bar is the m bar plus a divided by 2 that is mother's average plus her average divided by 2 that means both the mother's average and her average is again averaged so superiority of mother will be averaged to the tune of her average and this portion will be subtracted from the daughter's superiority so that means this portion will be subtracted from the daughter's average and this will give the daughter superiority daughter's superiority over what over her average over her average so the index will be clearly stating that how much daughter is superior over the herd and that superiority might have come from the uh, sire because sire was actually superior so in this way we will find the superior sire so here what i have written i will just read it was developed by, developed by rice in 1940 it was calculated by difference between daughter's actual performance and expected performance and this difference is added in herd average to estimate the value of sire so this superiority superiority of daughter's performance was added into herd average so that will reflect the breeding value of the sire so this uh, these these were the four method that i will be mostly covering in this lecture in numerical and based on these four we will do the do one numerical and you you go and refer some standard textbook or any of the practical manual of your college and just try to solve the numerical questions that has been given in those manuals and if you are finding any difficulty you just uh, write in the comment section or you can contact me on my contact email id or anywhere okay now now the next one is the numerically solved example so here i have taken one example hypothetical example the calculate the different sire indices what is given the given is the average of the daughter's performance that means d bar d bar is how much it is 55 5500 kg then the average of dams so what is dams average it is m bar m bar is how much 5300 kg then herd average is 4500 herd average means a or a bar herd average and the regression coefficient of daughter's yield on dam yield is 0.6 that means 0.6 is b b so here first of all you have to calculate all the four indices that i have uh, discussed just now so first index was the simple daughter's average index simple daughter's average index i is equal to d bar so simply you will get the in uh, breeding value by simple daughter average index as 5500 kg 5500 kg why because the it is the average of daughter's performance so i have already discussed here the average of daughter's performance is 5500 now the equivalent index so equivalent index you know the formula i is equal to 2d bar minus m bar so 2d bar 2 into d bar that is 5500 minus 5300 that is it is coming around 5700 kg so this is the equivalent index equivalent 
index now the third one third one is the krishnan index so what is krishnan index i is equal to d bar minus b m bar minus a so you know uh, d bar we have already seen 5500 b i have already told you it is 0.6 that is regression of daughter's performance on dam shield and m bar minus a m bar is 5300 and a that is hard average is 4500 kg so the in this way you will get the breeding value or index value h precursor index h 5020 so if you see and the fourth one also i will cover then i will discuss the fourth one that is tais regression index i is equal to w plus w is you can see uh, say it a also the w plus d bar minus e bar so we have already seen e bar is equal to m bar plus a divided by 2 so here first of all you calculate e so e is equal to 5300 a better you write a instead of w you can write a also so e bar is equal to 5300 plus 4500 divided by 2 that is 4900 now the actual formula i is equal to a bar a bar is for 4500 we have already seen here 4500 plus 5500 minus 4900 so in this way you will get the index value as 5100 kg now just see the result and compare so just uh, i will go the, to the previous slide here in case of simple daughter average index it was 5500 kg 5500 kg so 5500 kg was simply on the basis of average of daughter's performance now if you see the equivalent index it was 5700 kg 5700 kg then the third one third one krishnan index in case of krishnan index you are getting 5020 kg and in rice regression index you are getting 5100 kg the results are variable but they are close that not means it is not like that you are getting 50 kg by one method and 5000 kg by other method so they are somewhat closer but due to different formula employed or different methods of assessment you will get variation that may be due to certain kind of biases so we are considering that krishnan index method is the most efficient method that is being employed in single herd uh, for the calculation of sire index method and this is considered to be the least bias so but uh, uh, that is not necessary uh, other methods are also there so here you can say that by simple uh, sorry by equivalent index you are getting maximum breeding value but by krishnan index method you are getting the least breeding value so this was all about the calculation of sire index by different methods that has been used in single herd in multiple herd many uh, methods that are being used nowadays that is blub reml that uh, for ug student i don't think that will be of much importance so thank you all for your kind attention now if you are having any doubt you can ask me or you can contact me thank you thanks a lot